One of Texas A&M's potential starting quarterbacks was arrested early this morning in Northgate, just across from the campus. 19-year-old redshirt freshman Johnny Benziel, seen here wearing number 15 during an A&M practice, was arrested by College Station Police. Bicycle patrol officers at Northgate say they saw two men fighting. Police say one of the two was Manziel. When asked for identification, police say Manziel gave them a fake ID stating he was 21. He was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, failure to identify, and having a fake license. He was booked into the Brazos County Jail and bonded out this afternoon. Now, in a statement this afternoon, A&M head football coach Kevin Sumlin said they are still gathering facts and will handle the situation once they get all the information. He goes on to say, we are disappointed with his actions and this is out of character for Johnny. Sure doesn't mean it's right, but hundreds of underage students use fake IDs to get access to alcoholic beverages. It is against the law, and it can also cost a bar a big find and the loss of a license. News 3's Clay Falls shows us how the corner bar at Northgate takes extra steps to spot fake IDs. Friday night and Northgate go hand in hand for a good time in College Station, but it's a constant battle keeping those who are too young to drink away from the bars. The corner bar is growing quite a collection of fake IDs. Some are bogus, while others are expired, or that of an older brother or sister of a minor. Owner Barry Ivan says people are passing these off any time, on any day. Well, this is the, one of the biggest problems in our industry, actually, is we're in a town with 40,000 college students, and a majority are underage, and you know they're all trying to drink and have a good time. Bouncers and bartenders like Kelsey McKee check IDs to make sure they don't find themselves in jail. We serve anywhere from 250 drinks to 450, and the tip on top of that's going to be a dollar. And the fine that we would get for serving underage is close to $5,000 um, with attacked on night in jail. So it's definitely not not worth it. So we're here IDing as hard as we can to. One of the fastest ways at spotting a fake ID is really just looking at how it feels. They also look to see if photos have been lifted, and they even have a book to compare pair licenses from other states and countries too. When we get ready to call the uh, College Station Police Department, they usually decide that it's not worth going to jail for at that point in time. So they exit, leaving the fake ID behind, making this pile bigger and bigger. In College Station, Clay Falls, News 3. A minor's caught with a fake or altered license can face a fine and even jail time. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission says the most authentic looking fake IDs usually sell on the internet and can cost upwards of $100. A military judge